Hi guys, Archie Luxury, Archie Luxury channel. Today, guys, I want to show you three Calatravas. That's correct. This is some Calatravas from the very famous flagship range, the Calatrava family. And uh, I thought it'd be a great idea to show you the three Calatravas in my life. We've got the 5127, very, very, very elegant crown guards look at the crown guards crown guards crown guards crown guards and then we've got the uh 5196 manual wind manual wind uh it's manual wind using the 215 ps movement and then we've got a um 51 no 5296 in white gold there we go this is three calatravas why would you have three? That's a good question. You know why you'd have three? Because you can! Because you can. That's it. You don't need to prove anything to anyone. You just do it because you can. Three Calatravas. Three Calatravas. That's what I like to see on the Archie Luxury channel. Guys, Mark Goldberg here from Mark Vlogs Watches with a quick word for your friend and mine, Archie Luxury, Paul Pluta, AC3, Archibald Chesterfield III. You know, he invented the quick wristwatch check, and uh, the rest of us on YouTube, well, we just stole it. Help keep Archie full-time on YouTube by liking this video, watching this video, tell your fuckhead friends, and make sure to subscribe to his Patreon. And now, Archie Luxury. Hi guys, Archie Luxury, Archie Luxury Channel. Guys, I want to talk to you today. And uh, this is what happened to me the other day. I went down to my local Apple repair center because my iPhone 7 Plus was busted. And I went there to log it in and the, the young gentleman who was, who was uh, logging in the phone, I noticed he was wearing a watch that looked very similar to my Patek Philly. And I, I said to him, hey man, that looks, that looks like a cool watch. Can I have a look? And uh, I snapped a photo with my Patek Philippe. It was a Pulsar, which Pulsar is kind of a, uh, how do I put it politely? It was Shitter Brand, Shitter Brand. And it had a, it was white metal, like steel, with a black leather strap. It looked very similar to my Patek Calatrava. And I gotta tell you, this is something that many people have said to me. Hey, Arch, these Patek Philippe's are so expensive, yet they look like some cheap watches. And uh, that people have said to me, why, why would you do that if they look the same like a piece of shit watch? And the answer, my friend, the devil is is in the detail the devil is in the detail for a start i didn't buy this watch to showboat or show off to any other people i bought it for me me i bought it for me um it's in this case here this calatrava this is a 5127 it's in one of my favorite metals which is white gold white gold and I gotta tell you, in all honesty, it doesn't matter if it looks the same as a cheap pulsar. The thing is, the devil is in the detail. When you actually really compare the two, you can see the detail. It's a precious metal case. It's also, if you care to look at the back, it's a beautiful, beautiful movement. The movement in this baby here is really special, special, special. It's very special indeed. It's beautifully done. So, yes, it's true. It does look very similar <clears throat> to the shitty Pulsar. However, that's not the point. <clears throat> that's not the point. The point is, it's a paddock, Philippe. It's beautifully when you look at the detail it's not a mass-produced pumped out piece of shit it's beautifully done the devil is in the detail um, it's 
it's the little things. When you look at the, if you get a magnifying glass, if you look at the, the dial itself there, you can see applied indices. Um, you've got beautiful Delphine hands. It's the extent of the detail. That's what makes this watch so amazing. It's the attention to detail. The little, little details are what make it so special. Patek Philippe, of course, is different to Pulsar. Pulsar mass pumps and dumps. They're a pumper and a dumper. A pumper and a dumper. They're a low-end wristwatch, which nothing wrong with that. They've just followed the Calatrava style. That doesn't mean anything less of my, my Calatrava. It's just how it goes. And I, I get a kind of a buzz when I see a, a Pulsar that looks like my Calatrava. And that's what I love about owning a Patek Philippe, is the fact that to most, 90% of the public there, they wouldn't see any difference. It's that 10% that knows what the fuck a Patek Philippe is. That is what makes the difference. I don't want to be screaming, Rolex, 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 Rolex. No, 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 no. I want a discreet, beautiful timepiece which elevates me to my station in life. I've got to be honest with you. I was a huge Rolex show off. I wanted the kudos. But as I've gotten older and more mature, I've realized I don't want the unwanted attention that a Rolex can bring. I have had ladies, beautiful, attractive ladies in Thailand at the airport, uh, airport ladies, Thai, airline, uh, Thai ladies in, in airports of Thailand come up to me and ask me out on a date based on my two-tone Rolex, Rolex Submarina. I decided to sell that watch and pursue my interest in Patek Philippe and Pussy. So that's, that is what I have decided to pursue. And that's, that's kind of how it goes, guys. You need to understand with Patek Philippe, it's not about showing off to all the people in the world. It's about wearing something beautiful, elegant for yourself. You don't need to scream, Patek! I don't need to scream, Patek. It, I quite like the white metal because it looks like steel. You buy it for yourself. You buy it for yourself. Not to show off or big note yourself. It's just a very discreet. And when someone realizes what the fuck a Patek Philippe it is, it's, it's said in hushed tones. And that's what's important, is the fact that the people who know what a Patek Philippe is, they understand exactly what you have on your wrist. And that's, that's the attraction to me for Patek Philippe. It's not showing off to the hoi polloi. It's the elite that knows what it is. And it's not about money. It's not about money or big noting oneself. It's about having a beautifully handcrafted watch on your wrist. And it's an interesting thing. You see, you can attend an event. I, I wear my 5127 and I can have someone next to me who's wearing a 5070. 5070 is a highly collectible manual wine chronographed by Patek Philippe. And I would have no embarrassment in wearing my 5127. No embarrassment. It, we're part of the, the same family. Conversely, you can have someone who's wearing a 3970 or a 5970, and you're part of the club. It doesn't really matter that their one is significantly more expensive than my one. It's part of that club. And that's the joy with Patek Philippe. It's not about showing off how much money we've, we've, we've spent on our watch. It's about enjoying the fine craftsmanship. 
enjoying the the lineage of the brand and I've got to be honest with you I like the fact it's under the radar most people don't know what Patek Philippe is you know particularly in Brisbane I live in Brisbane Australia and it's 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 just a you know it's just just under the radar under the radar so the big thing is Patek Philippe itself they're just such a cool brand lovely brand love it love it to death I don't want a big note don't want to show off it's just a discreet brand that I wear for myself it's not about you know big noting oneself I don't want to make anyone feel bad I I, I, I love I bought this watch for me not for anyone else it's for me for me myself me myself and I that's it so you know, when I see the paddock and you see a pulsar that looks the same, yes, it, it, it looks the same. There's some similarities, but every facet of the watch is completely different. Handcrafted, hand assembled. Every, every step of the process is completely different. And it's not about showing off. You know, you start to enjoy life more when one doesn't need to be validated by people who have no idea. It's a big up. It's a big up. And, and that's, that's, that really is what the joy of Patek ownership is. It's not showing off or being loud or, or, or noisy. You don't want to create noise in this world. I find it's much better to be under the radar, discreet. And with Patek Philippe, that's what makes me most happy is the appreciation of the brand. I absolutely love the brand, love the watch. Love my Patek Philippe. I love my Patek Philippe. Don't need to show off. It's, it's beyond that. You know, I've had Rolex. I've had, I've had them all. I've had gold Rolexes. I've had two-tone. I've had, had it all. And I, I find a much more... I, I much rather have a 5127 on my wrist than a gold submarina or day date. Ooh, so ghastly. Ghastly. Novo Riche show off type items. I don't need to prove myself. I'm comfortable in my own skin. I'm comfortable in my own skin. And um, all I'm going to do is find a, a lady friend with a, um, an SL Mercedes Benz. But that's another tale for another story. So guys, I just wanted to share this with you. So many people say it looks like an inexpensive watch, but it doesn't matter. It's for me. I know what it is. I love my Patek Philippe's, and uh, it's just, I just, I just adore it. So there you go. Like, subscribe, tell your fuckhead friends, and put some nasty comments down below, and uh, don't be afraid to share this link. I need more subscribers in 2020. David SW. David SW. David SW. Who does Archie Luxury recommend is the greatest grey market dealer in America? There's only one choice. David SW. That's right, guys. I've got to tell you the honest truth. I have for a long time been looking for the perfect answer. Who do I recommend people go to see? Who do I recommend that people can go and uh, buy watches? And I've got to be honest with you. The greatest, the greatest pre-owned dealer for Rolex, Patek Philippe, Audemars Piguet, is David SW. David SW. David SW. David SW.com. That's right, guys. I have been looking for a contact who I can very nicely refer people to. I am not in the selling business. Customer service. I'm too old to sell watches. I'm too old. I like to recommend my viewers to a reliable source. In Australia, I've got some great sources. There's uh, Sydney Watch Exchange with Cove. Rani at Vintage Watch Co. Shani. Shani at European Watch Gallery. And in America, who is the best source for pre-owned Rolex? For all the hot models, 
There's only one person I would recommend, David SW. David SW, David SW. That is the premier source for pre-owned Rolex. I gotta be completely frank and honest with you. Guys, if you are looking for a hot Rolex model, there is only one place you can go to. David SW, David SW, David SW. Let's be honest, guys. There's no point schmoozing, schmoozing, schmoozing the dealers, the ADs. They're just a waste of time. Unless you're going to buy 20 pieces, you are wasting your time. What you're better off to do is pay the market premium and go to a good, good pre-owned dealer. Who do I recommend? David SW. David SW. David SW. That's correct, guys. I want to tell you this now. I 100% stand behind David SW. David SW, the greatest pre-owned dealer in the entire United States of America. That's right. The greatest pre-owned dealer for Rolex, for Patek Philippe, for Audemars Piguet, David SW. He even does things like FP Jean. David SW, David SW, David SW. That's right. If you want to buy a pre-owned Rolex, a Patek Philippe, Audemars Piguet, there's only one good source I would recommend. David SW, David SW, David SW. I'm Paul Pluto, the method actor who plays Archibald Chesterfield III, and I'm proud to recommend David S.W. See you later. Thank you for watching this channel. Hi guys, Archie Luxury on the Archie Luxury channel. Today guys, I need your help. I need your help. And I'm making this video today, it's the start of 2020, and I'm making this video here to sort of tell you guys, I really do need your help. Men cannot survive on Google Ads alone. And the best way you can help me is by, well, you're watching this video, that's fantastic. The next thing you could do is share these links. Share these videos with your friends. See, I'm not PC. Google doesn't really share my videos. So if you like a video that I've, I've made, send them the link to a friend. That's the best way to bring new people in uh, as audience. Um, the other thing is, guys, i got to be totally frank and honest with you. This YouTube gig is very hard. I really cannot survive on the money I earn from the advertising alone. It's a pittance. Now, guys, I do... I've got a number of channels. I've got a few channels. There is this channel. i got the Achi Luxury channel. That's my main comedy sort of channel. I do the un Achi Unemployed vlogs. That's my, my general channel. I've got the Paul Pluto channel. The Paul Pluto channel. The Paul Pluto channel. That channel, by the way, I'll put a, a link in the description, little question mark, click on that, it'll list all the channels. The Paul Pluto channel is my serious watch content channel. I do the paid reviews and serious wrist, wrist, wrist watch content. Then I have the Archie Luxury Corporate live streaming channel. That's a channel solely for my live streaming efforts. Then I have the Elite Broadcasting, Elite Broadcasting lets me run things I, this is for the more general world there. I try and run things a little bit risque, I've got a lot of sexy videos there, trying to put sex it up a bit. So that's the Elite Broadcasting. And then I got, you know, I've got the QR rail fail to kick the state government in the guts. Guys! If you could take take a look, take a look at those channels and subscribe to all of them, it would really help. If you look in the description of this video here, there's many ways you could help me. You can donate on PayPal. You could do a paid review. Seek my advice. I do consultancy. I do phone calls. Fifty US dollars for an hour of phone call. That's pretty damn good. Uh, I also have got Patreon. Patreon allows you to send a little bit of money every month. And my Patreon people, they get a special 
email from me. They get to see secret videos. They get special access as well. They get free access to my WhatsApp group. That's right. I'm on WhatsApp. I got a WhatsApp Archie Luxury group. You get access to that if you're a Patreon supporter. The other thing is, guys, I got advertising on the fridge you can get. I've got all sorts of stuff. All sorts of stuff. Now, guys, you've got to help us out. Man cannot survive on Google Ads alone. I do depend on it. Guys, if you could subscribe to all my channels, it would mean the world to me. If you could share links with your friends, that would mean the world to me. I really want to make YouTube my career in 2020. Help us out, guys. I love you. I am Archie Luxury, and I need your help. Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, once again, Mark Goldberg for Archie Luxury AC3, the Pontiff Satan Deville. I want to sincerely thank you for having sat through this video because I know it was awful, but you know what? You do it for the greater good of humanity. Thank you so much. Now, a couple of quick pieces of homework. Now that you've watched this video, I would like you to hit thumbs up. If you must, hit thumbs down, but if you'd hit thumbs up, I would especially appreciate it. Go ahead and leave a really nasty comment and tell him how awful this content was. But most importantly of all, the entire reason that I am linking up with Archie Luxury in the first place. I am a published author. Let dogs be dogs. Available in bookstores, Amazon, and electronically somewhere near you. Remember, Archie Luxury, he's not just a figment of your imagination. <laughs>